Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Coon Cassis, IFL TV. We are at the British Embassy here in Saudi Arabia. Delighted to be joined by my long-term friend, first of all, Mr. Jason Mariner. Nice to see you, Coach. Nice to see you. And I didn't know that you two have got a long-term connection. Spencer Brown. I've known Jason for a long, 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 long time. Can you explain the connection or can't you on camera? Can't. No, not on camera. Definitely not. Not guilty. <laughs> Spencer, amazing event no here. No comment. No comment. <laughs> you know about no comment, didn't you? Yeah, you wouldn't think so, yeah. It don't always serve me well, Coach, I can assure you that. Uh, Spencer, just explain to kind of people watching what's going on here today. This is kind of a, a first for Saudi Arabia with the boxing. What's going on in here? Well, look, we they, we were looking for something to do pre-fight. And that, as you know, Turkey Al Sheikh were good friends. And he allowed me to put this on, him and Dr. Khan. And it's been phenomenal. What a success it's been. It's, we've, got the, we've got everything. I've seen faces I haven't seen here for 20 years. Been, it's been amazing. Jason, we know obviously your association with football, but you're a big boxing fan as well. Of course, of course. But I will say this, I must say this. What Spencer's put on here, from the hotels to the, to the everything here, to the boxing event, I went to the press conference last night, obviously going to the weigh-in later. I think he has done an absolute, colossal, fantastic job. Second to none. I think Tyson, I think he's too good for him. His feet are too good. His reach is too good. I think it's, uh, this, this fight goes down in history, and we're here to see it. It's because of that man, and I think it's fantastic. Spencer, you've been with Tyson Fury all week, as you have for however many years, etc. But this week specifically, didn't say a lot of the press conference yesterday. What's his mood like? What was the face-off about? How can you explain why he didn't face off with Alexander Usyk? I think the game started when uh, Usyk came in and went orthodox. So Tyson then came in and went southpaw. And it's just been a, it's been a tug of war, really. It's a war, isn't it? It's, it's, it's fantastic. As for, his, as for him being... Um, his, mute, his mood has been phenomenal. Happy, jovial, pissing about, making jokes, laughing. Like he's at home, putting his, putting his um, bins out and doing the dog, picking the dog shit up. You know, that's, you know, I'm, I was quite surprised actually how jovial he is. But, but a lot of that's to do with his brothers being there, his dad, his brothers. Everybody's getting on so well in the camp. There's no di diversion or uh, nobody's falling out of each other. It's just a really, really good atmosphere. The face-off yesterday, though, a lot of, I hear some people going, oh, fancy Usyk now, because he didn't want to look at him. And they take ah, kind of no, all that no, rubbish no, look, literal. It's all games, isn't it? It's all games. Tyson's not stupid. He's done this numerous occasions. Tyson's done this on numerous occasions. He's not silly. He's not giving an inch, is he? He's not giving an inch, so... Talk is cheap, money buys houses. Yeah. Know what I mean? Talk is cheap, money buys houses. At the end of the day, he, 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 do, he do his talking in the ring tomorrow night, won't he? And I think people will be surprised. I mean, anyone can see he's in the best shape of his life, Tyson. The best shape. I'll tell you what, we went for St. Louis, Spence, didn't we? About two months ago, right? And I thought he was in good shape then. He's off the wall now, isn't he? He's off yeah, the wall. And, and, and look, you've got to remember, you must remember this. <laughs> This is a six foot nine switch hitting gypsy who got bloodlines, fighting bloodlines right the way through. Even his dog can have a punch up. He's, listen, he's not concerned at all. He was in the back of the van yesterday, he's just not concerned. This man's got to beat me. It's, it, you know, it's, it's not on me, it's on him, which is going to be very, very hard to do. Please believe me. The mood he's in, the shape he's in, he's just so confident. If he gets beaten, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be just shocked and amazed. I don't, I don't think he's underestimating him at all. I don't think he's underestimating Definitely not, no. Him. He's not underestimating him, but he's so confident. He's so thing. He's done everything right, and he's kept away from everyone. The, the, the Spencer and all that, they've got, been, he's been in camp non-stop, just gra grafting himself off and enjoying it. He's been enjoying it as well, and that's got to be a major thing. Like Spencer says, all the family around him, all the right people, not people coming up doing interviews every two minutes, not knocking people for, do you know what I mean? But he's just got his head right in the right place, I think, and I think it'd be too good, too good, too Strong, so clever. What's wrong with people doing interviews anyway? <laughs> they got me a lot of time, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. On that, on that note, on that one, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, last one, Spencer. 
We don't want controversy, obviously we don't, but these events, there is kind of a feel, and there's a few people, he said it, he reckons a controversial draw behind us here. You know we had words Gareth's of him the other day. quite clever, actually. Gareth's a very clever man. Um, and he's, you know, a controversial draw, I can't see it, but, you know, this. <laughs> you know, we've, we've had plenty of them, haven't we? And... One big one involving Tyson, to be fair. Correct. So, can it happen again? Most definitely. Would it set the other fight up? Yes, it would, but I just can't see it. It just looks too good to me. Spencer said it there. The only reason I've gone for it is because there's two fights. And sometimes in these scenarios, in boxing, it's almost like the sky has wished it. Listen, we'd all love Tyson Fury to win and take it home. Everybody wants to see him against Anthony Joshua. It finishes the era. I think, I think you need to look... We don't look we don't look in front like that. We've got a job to do on Saturday night and then we've got another job to do with Alexander Usyk. This is not the first dance. This is going to be the Oh, sorry. This is the, this is going to be the first dance. There's two dances to go. Whether he, we 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 might could go not, anyway. Correct. It could go anyway. Tyson could finish him in 6, he could finish him in 9. Usyk could outbox him. It could be a draw. We correct. don't know. And that's why it's so exciting. That's and, why we're all here. And let's go back to 1971. When Ali and Frazier fought, that's the last time that two undefeated heavyweight champions of the world fought, even before 1999, because Lewis and Holyfield had lost. Correct, correct. I'd say, and to be fair, Spencer called it last night on a press conference. He said the only way Tyson gets beat if he don't turn up. If he turns up, he wins. You agree with that? When are you fighting next? Oh, the, 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 my days we're right. a belly, yeah, we're having a belly <laughs> batting competition later. 57 and 57 stone, drop me out. <laughs> Everyone in Britain wants Tyson Fury to bring those belts home. 100%. There's no doubt about it. But no, Usyk is a he's, he's, There's people who, who are on Usyk's side. Get them, you get that, Watch but... Watch swing over. We're not bothered. We're not interested. We're here, we're going to get the win, we're going home. I'm going to take the belt on. Can I also say that Spencer deserves so much... I mean, we know what His Excellency Turkey Al Sheikh's done, but behind the scenes, this man is very, very special. Even we're here today, it's because of Spencer. It. Look at this. We are, we are on British territory right now in the middle of Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. It's because of you. No, it's because of Turkey, I'll shake. And it's because of Turkey. But Abul Nasser. He's, he's, yeah, he's, he he's, believes in he's you. Not, yes, because he's my friend Abul now. Nasser, yeah. And I love him. And what he's done for British boxing, I'm going to tell you, the British government are a disgrace because they could back us because the Australians back us, the Saudis back us, but not the British. They won't back us. Careful, the ambassador's coming I in a minute. Care. Tell the ambassador that from me. <laughs> Go and lay with his All right? That's it. End of story. Gareth Ray Davies, Jason Mariner, Spencer Brown, thank you very much. Cheers, Let's hope for a, a historic night. Go smoothly tomorrow night on, in, in Riyadh. Go thank on, you very Tyson. much. Up the Tyson Fury. <laughs>